So to demonstrate how a bee actually communicates with a flower by electrical fields, um, I'm going to use a theremin and my hand with a bee on it, um, just to demonstrate how as the bee gets closer to the flower, the electrical fields um, are more powerful when they're given out. And they've actually only recently discovered this and it means that bees can tell when a flower has recently been visited by another bee or is out of pollen or nectar. So it's really useful for the bees. So this is my th theremin. So as you can see, bee approaches, nothing. And we're getting in within distance that you can land. And obviously it, the flower gives out an electrical field when it's actually reached by the bee. And these changes once the bees are visited as well so that they don't give an electrical field out when another bee comes up. Do you like pink marshmallows? And here are cochineal beetles and they are commonly used in a lot of our food additives. It's called E120 if you look at the back of the packet. So what I'm going to do is I've got some dried cochineal beetles and I'm just going to grind them up using a pestle and mortar. And in here I just have water. And if we give them a bit of a stir, okay, as you can see, it goes a lovely pink colour, which is why they are mainly used. So it's for pink, um, sort of pink sweets, um, pink marshmallows, like I said, and uh, things like lipsticks, um, blusher, lots of pink makeup as well, still contains cochineal beetles. So about 80% of the world's population still eat invertebrates. Um, here are some dried crickets, totally safe to eat. Eating insects is also more sustainable as well. So you never know, in a few years time, we might be eating them again. Another way to link chemistry and nature is through bioluminescence. We've touched on it a little bit in terms of the scorpion secreting a chemical that um, glows under UV light. But there are also other invertebrates, particular things like glowworms, um, light light bugs they're sometimes called in america as well um and jellyfish and they actually secrete their their own light so they make their own light by mixing two chemicals in their body so we can demonstrate this with a glow stick okay there's two chemicals in there that just when you break the seal they mix together and they produce a light and this light is very very similar to bioluminescence. Thank you for joining us for our chemistry special for the Wiggly Wild show and if you want more of this then sign up for one of our Wild About Science workshops um, for the Wiggly Wild show or just get us in to see the bugs themselves that produce all of this without any help from us. Thanks a lot, bye!